you're ready to receive, just lift your hands in a posture to receive. Hallelujah. It's also a sign of surrender. As we surrender our will, surrender our mind, our heart. Oh, come on, stretch your hands up into the air. Feel the embrace of your Father today as we worship him. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. Oh, come on, what's your love song to the Lord? Give it to him. We surrender our praise. We surrender our worship. We give you glory today. Listen. My hallelujah belongs to you. So why don't you give it to him? why he's done so much you deserve it you deserve it you deserve it yes God you deserve it say my hallelujah all together say my hallelujah yeah. belongs to you we may not have silver and gold got a lot today. My hallelujah oh. belongs to you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. It belongs to you, Jesus. My hallelujah it belongs, to belongs to you. Come on, one voice. Let's say. You deserve it. You You deserve. You deserve it. You deserve. You deserve it. You deserve. You deserve it. Say all of the glory. Set all of the glory. Hallelujah. To you. to you. This worship just sounds so beautiful. Won't you participate with us? Oh. All of the glory. Lift your voice. We say hallelujah. 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 The highest praise. Hallelujah. It's hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 We say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stay right there. Hallelujah. You've been too good. Hallelujah. You've been too great. Hallelujah. You've done so much for me. Hallelujah. Wherever I am glad.
Hallelujah. Oh, let the church bless the Lord. As we are counting down the final hours, the final minutes of 2020, I just know that God is good and he is worthy of all the praise. Let me just take this opportunity just to welcome you all to our watch night service. I pray tonight that you will let loose and let God and break free and give God all the praise, all the glory and all the honor for he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody's going to be blessed in 2021, but somebody's going to be free. Hallelujah. Somebody's going to get a miracle. And I know it's going to be me. It's going to be you. It's going to be your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Oh, somebody's gonna be blessed
Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord some glory in this place. Hallelujah. We serve an excellent God, an excellent King, and we're just going to continue to give Him praise tonight as we welcome in this new year. You are my God. You are my King. God, you're excellent. in the building today. Wherever you are at home, if you know it's excellent, lift your hands as you worship an excellent God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for 365 days. And you've brought us now to December 31st. For you deserve all the glory and all the honor. Hallelujah. We magnify the name of the Lord tonight. God bless you wherever you are at home watching. I pray that this service tonight will be a blessing to you as we lift the name of the Lord on high. He is we are who he says we are. No matter what statistics show, no matter what he or she says, I am who the Lord says I am. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. We praise you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's wonderful and he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would welcome me. I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who the sun sets free is truly free indeed. 
I'm a child of God Yes I am And in my father's house There's a place for me I'm a child of God Yes I am Oh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, glory be to your name, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, let's sing the verse together. Who am I? Everybody sing. Who am I that the highest yes, would welcome me? Would welcome me. Hallelujah, I was lost. I was lost, but you brought me. Oh, it's love. Oh, it's, love. it's love for me. Oh, it's love for me. Oh, love Come on, everybody. Who the sun sets free? Who the sun, the sun sets free? It says it. It says, "Who am I that the highest King would welcome me? I was lost, but He brought me in. Oh, His love for me. Oh, His love for me. Free at last, He has ransomed me. His grace." runs deep while i was a slave to sin jesus died for me yes he died for me who oh, the sun oh, the sun God. says
that's your testimony tonight. I'm sure that many things could be said about 2020, but that's the one thing I want to say. Whom the Son has set free is truly free indeed. Hallelujah. I am a child of God. And on behalf of our senior pastor and bishop, Dr. Cecil G. Mullings, and our first lady, Dolores Mullings, I'm quite sure that that is the testimony that they would want us all to have in the name of Jesus. So tonight, if that is not your testimony, the service is truly centered on that. And the time is appointed that all who call upon the name of the Lord should be saved. So don't let this hour pass. Don't let this night end. I dare you not to go into 21 without knowing Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. For he loves us. Oh, he loves us so. Amen. I'd like to just give a prayer and scripture this night. And you know, when we were starting 2020, some played on the 2020 that it would be a time of vision and clarity. I say it was. The Bible says 20 can be said to be a time of waiting and anticipation and just seeing what God is going to do. I say that it is. Amen. As we are looking to see and wait God to move in this time and in this season. And as we have gone through 2020, some of us have lost some loved ones along the way, some friends, some dear ones to us. And in so doing, we uh, customary would have a moment of silence, right? To just honor and to respect those who have gone on. But this moment, I just want to take about 10 seconds to do just that, to honor and to respect those who have gone on but in this 10 seconds, I'm asking of us to reflect back on 2020. It is a year that has called for a moment of reflection, a moment of contemplation, a moment of meditation. For surely the Lord has moved in this year and have gotten our attention, wouldn't you say so? So let's just rest in the presence of the Lord for about 10 seconds. Father, we know that you have been a merciful God. And as we take this moment of silence just to reflect on those who may have passed on and also just to consider our lives, the scripture that I would share with your people today comes from Psalms 136. And tonight, as we reflect on these scriptures, there is a repetitive verse that comes out or a chant. And that chant is, for God, you are a merciful God. The scripture says, for his mercy endure it forever. I don't know what your testimony is for 2020, but I'm sure that at the end of your testimony, you can declare that his mercy endure forever. Would you turn with me to Psalms 136? And just bear with me as I read this. As Israel was going through their time and their season, they always reflected back to understand that God was merciful. And it reads, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. And what's that chant? For his mercy endured forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods. And that it is for his mercy endured forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of hosts for his mercy endured forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders for his mercy endured forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy it endured forever to him that stretched out the earth above the waters for his mercies and 
endure forever. To him that made great lights. Why? Because his mercy, it endures forever. To him that set the sun to rule by day and night. For his mercy endure forever. Let me just stop right there. I think we got it. Why in all of this year, all of these days, all of these moments and these seconds and these times, the highs, the lows, uh, oh my God, the mountains and the valleys, we can truly say that God has been a merciful God. Father, we approach your mercy seat tonight, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God, you gave to Moses, uh, you gave to Israelites the Ark of the Covenant. And upon that Ark was your mercy seat. In the midst of the cherubim stood your mercy seat, sprinkled with blood. But this day we know that Jesus Christ, you are our mercy seat tonight. And in all that we have been through, you have been a shield. You have been a buckler. You have been a sustainer. You have been the mighty one. You have been the one that caused the sun to rise and the moon to stand in its place. All of what we have been through this year, one thing stands for sure sure your mercies endured forever lord you did not allow the noisome pestilence of covid 19 to disrupt your praise of your people and for that we declare your mercies it endures forever and as we embark upon a new year god we stand on the promises that your mercy will continue to endure. God, you are able to look beyond my faults uh, and see my greatest need to be saved. So I declare tonight, oh my God, come and see what the Lord is able to do in your life. He is able to sustain. He is able to give you joy. He is able to give you that peace, uh, that peace that passes all understanding, that peace that is able to keep uh, that peace that is able to sustain I declare and decree as you embark in 2021 God's mercy endures it endures it endures forever and ever and ever and we give him praise we give him praise we give him praise we give him, praise. We give him all praise in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Well, it's offering time in the house. Now is the time where we can all participate together in worship and giving. But why do we tithe and why do we give offering? Well, tithing is a covenant between us and God. And in return, God blesses us for honoring our commitment. Offering is sacrificial giving. And again, the blessing comes when we give sacrificially and not grudgingly. In Malachi 3 verse 10, we are commanded to bring the tithes into the house. And the next verse, God says, he promises to rebuke the devourer for our very sakes. So when we give, we are blessed because God's got your back. And so whether you're home or whether you're in the sanctuary, be prepared to give. And remember that God loves a cheerful giver. We truly want to thank you for supporting the ministry here at Mount Bethel. There are a number of ways that you can give. If you're here, you can march up with your offering. If you're online, you can use Cash App. Our Cash App address is mtbethelcog. You can also use PayPal. Our PayPal address is donate at mtbethelcog.org. We also take credit card payments over the phone. And so whether you're home watching online or whether you're in the sanctuary, our prayer for you today is that you will be blessed and that your store baskets will never be empty. God bless you. 
Well, praise the Lord. We thank God that in the midst of this year, he's been a provider, a Jehovah Jireh, and we continue to give him worship and praise as we look ahead to a new year. With all the things this year has thrown at us, I want to know what is your response to the Lord today? Hallelujah. I know mine is worship. If yours is worship, can you join me today and respond to the Lord? Hallelujah. Because even at my lowest times, I can still give him the highest praise. Let's lift him up tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Lord. Yeah. Lord, yeah. yeah. Listen. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'm never going back. Just standing here, that's my testimony. That you have rescued my life. I don't know why, Lord, but you have rescued my life. And I'm never going back. Listen, here's my response right here. My response is, hey, hallelujah, you're my redeemer, hallelujah, hallelujah, my response is, here it is, Lord, hallelujah, you're my redeemer. Hallelujah. Let's go back to the top and say, You have rescued. You have rescued my life. Hallelujah. You have rescued my so life. So I can't go back, Lord. And I'm never, never, oh, never going back. back. Come on. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my Come life. Come on. What did he save you from this year? You have rescued Come on. My so we can't.
I'm never going back. I'm never going. with me and just bless God in the building. Hallelujah. We thank him. Hallelujah. We give God thanks for this year alone. Hallelujah. If we don't say anything, it's thank you. Hallelujah. So let's sing praises. Put your hands together. Unto God, sing praises. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Hallelujah. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Hallelujah. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Sing praises. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's say that again. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Sing, sing praises unto God, sing praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's say that again. Sing praises. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Sing praises. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. We sing Hallelujah. Sing praises. Sing praises unto God, sing Sing praises. 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 Sing pra
praise God. Praise God. He's an awesome God. 2020 is almost gone. And we can rejoice and say, thank God that everything is all right. Thank God we can stand in the presence of Almighty God and say we want to thank you. I just want to greet you and hope that 2020, as you reminisce, it will be past and gone. We are heading into 2021. I'll probably be 21 years old, but 2021. And I'm not going to say that the 2021 is going to be a year like 2020. I'm looking for difference in 2021. Looking for healing, looking for deliverance, looking for people to give their life to the Lord. So I just want to welcome you. Uh, and we are going to wish 2020 bye-bye. Is that all right? Bye-bye. 2020, goodbye. It's been a rough year, but yet it's been a pleasant year worshiping the Lord. So I want to wish you 2021. Happy New Year. I sincerely hope that everything will be all right. You'll get healing, you'll get deliverance. And I appreciate you for 2020. You've been a great set of people. Came out and worshiped the Lord. And I know his name is worthy to be praised. Thank you so much for a year well done. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, let's just praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for another year, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ask you to come, God, and fill our atmosphere, Jesus. Holy Spirit, take control. You are welcome here. You're welcome in this year. You're welcome in 2021. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Send up a praise. Hallelujah. God, you're wonderful. We thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, God. We bless your name, God. Oh, we give you glory. Oh, there's nothing worth more. That can never come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Oh, yeah. You're in presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen. the sweetest of love where my heart becomes free and my shame
in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lord, in 2021, let us become more aware. Hallelujah. God, if 2020 has taught us anything, God, we need to be more aware of your presence. So we ask, Lord, that you would just be welcome in our lives, in our homes, in our space, God. We invite you to take your place in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our speaker for this watch night service is none other than Pastor Kim Murphy. She's no stranger. Hallelujah. She's no stranger to Mount Bethel. She's family, y'all. She's family. And we thank God that she was able to be here tonight to share this word. She's the pastor of Greater Hope Sanctuary in Neptune, New Jersey. Hallelujah. We thank God that ministry is almost three years old and it is doing well. It is thriving. And so we thank God for her. So we ask that after this last song, you'll just pray with her, worship with her as she brings forth the word. And we know she can preach. And we know that God has given her a word for this very hour, for this very time, for this very season. So after this last song, please welcome Pastor Kimberly Murphy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Did he make a way for anybody? Did he do anything for you during 2020? I know he made a way. He made a way. He made a way. Hallelujah. I don't know how, but he did it. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Come on, let's just tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, you made a way. Hallelujah. Standing here, not knowing how we'll get through this test, but holding on to faith you know best. But nothing can catch you by surprise You've got this figured out You're watching us now When it looks as if we can win mm, Wrap us in your arms and step in And everything we need you supply You've got this in control And now we know that you made a way When our backs were against the wall And it looked as if it was over Lord, you, you made a We're standing here only because you made a way. Oh, Lord, you, you made a way. Oh, yeah. And it looked like it looked as if it was. Oh, Lord, you made a way. 
did he move any mountains for you? Boy, you move mountains You cause walls to fall With your power You perform miracles There is nothing That's impossible And we're standing here Only because you made a way
Hallelujah. And to say hello to 2021. Hallelujah. We may not know what's on the other side of 2021, but we certainly know who's on the other side of 2021. Hallelujah. So we can get excited because if he made a way, If he made a way in 2020, he'll make a way in 2021. Come on one more time. Let's give our God some glory. Hallelujah for the mighty things that he has done. Hallelujah. We thank him on today for his keeping power. We thank him for his healing power. Hallelujah. We ought to get excited. Because we can truly say, millions didn't make it. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Millions didn't make it. Hallelujah. But I'm so glad that God counted me worthy enough hey, to be one of the ones who did. Hallelujah. Somebody shout out. Glory to your name. I didn't cross every I or dot every, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't cross every T or dot every I. Hallelujah. But I'm still here. Oh, glory. Had to go through some things. Woo. But I'm still here. The devil thought he was going to take me out of here. But I'm still here. Woo, glory to your name. Hallelujah. Y'all pardon me. I'm just excited. Hallelujah. Had back surgery back in August. Hallelujah. Oh, when the devil thought he was going to cripple me and stop my praise. Ha! Woo, glory. Hallelujah. But I'm still here and I still got my praise. Come on, somebody ought to get excited. Because when I look back, I can truly say that I've been blessed. I've got a testimony. Anybody got a testimony on tonight? Oh. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. It's all right to celebrate what he brought us over it's all right to celebrate what he brought us over hallelujah hallelujah somebody can say he brought me from a mighty long way he brought me over sickness he brought me through dangers seen and unseen hallelujah and i'm glad about it oh glory 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 Hallelujah. We do magnify the name of the Lord and we honor him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While you're standing, why, let, why don't we celebrate the angels of this house? Hallelujah. Bishop, glory to your name. So glad to see you, sir. Still here. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's still here. Glory. We don't take it for granted. He's still here. Hallelujah. It wasn't because uh, the devil didn't want to take him out of here. Hallelujah. But God said, I'm not finished with you. Hey, somebody ought to get excited on tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we honor the life of our bishop amen we thank god to see you here standing on your own two feet nobody had to push you in glory to god you're not attached to it hey shabado kora masaya not attached to an oxygen machine 
glory to God but you're breathing on your own hallelujah he ain't the only one hallelujah we all got that testimony on tonight hallelujah glory 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 and while we cannot honor the man of God without honoring the woman of God that walks beside him glory to God hallelujah she don't walk behind him she don't walk in front of him but she walks beside him glory to God I think I'm looking at a miracle hallelujah I'm, I believe the last time that I was here I said the Lord said full recovery I said the Lord said full recovery glory so while we're looking back over 2020 there are some things that we can be sad about but there's a whole lot more that we can be glad about come on and put your hands together and tell God thank you <laughs> hallelujah we give honor amen to all of you on tonight I honor my brother. Amen. Bishop Gary Mullins. Amen. Glory to God. Come on and put your hands together. And his beautiful wife. Amen. Sister Jackie. Amen. I honor all of you in your places on tonight. It's just so good to be in the house of the Lord. We thank God. I don't know about you, but I, I need to be in the sanctuary. I appreciate social media glory to God I appreciate how the Lord you know has a backup glory but I need to be he, I need to be in the sanctuary oh glory hallelujah I need to feel the power that's on my brother and the power that's on my sister hallelujah and it ain't quite the same when I'm watching it on TV glory to God hallelujah so I'm so happy to be in the house of the Lord on tonight I'm excited I'm excited about the Lord and what he has done and what he has is doing amen and this has been a tumultuous year amen but I can just get excited all by myself just thinking about the fact that I'm still here <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah had close loved ones all around me that went on to be with the Lord, but I'm still here. Glory to God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Can y'all help me celebrate a portion of Greater Hope Sanctuary that's in the house on tonight? Amen. I thank God for those that he has given into my charge. Amen. Glory to God. Thank them for traveling with me on tonight and for driving me, Sister Lisa. Amen. I'm just so grateful. Had some leave. Amen. And drop off by the wayside. But that's all right. Amen. We just move on. And continue to do what the Lord has called us to do. Amen. I, I, I'm just determined. The Lord gave me a theme for the remainder of this year and next year. And it's B. B-E. Glory to God. And those acronyms are build and engage. Glory to God. You cannot build if you do not engage. And so we are engaging, amen, and we are building what God has given into our hands. Glory to God. I'm so excited, amen, to be in this house on tonight with all of you. Amen. I am no stranger, amen, to Mount Bethel. I kind of borrowed your little slogan, I am Mount Bethel, glory to God. We say, I am GHS, hallelujah, glory to God, because we need to know that we represent the houses that we are fed in, glory to God. And so wherever we go, we want people to know that I am Greater Hope Sanctuary. I, when I first came here and I saw that, I said, ooh, I love that. Amen. And the Lord have blessed us. Amen. Glory to God. I do have a word from the Lord on tonight. So we're going to go into the word of God. Amen. Y'all don't mind me with these glasses. I can see close, but I can't see far. So I'm kind of, I can't really see y'all right now. And it's blurry, but I need to see the word right now. 
So I'm going to take him off for a minute. Glory to God. Amen. We're going to the book of Philippians. Amen. We're going to the book of Philippians. And we are going to be in the second chapter. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just love the Lord. Amen. The young lady so profoundly read the scripture on tonight that his mercy Woo. aren't you glad his mercy endures it endures our foolishness <laughs> it endures our poor choices our wrong decisions his mercy endureth forever and it just got me so excited Amen. My heart is a little heavy on tonight. I lost my godfather. Amen. Reverend Tom Miles. Amen. This year. Amen. Not too long ago. Amen. And uh, my heart is a little heavy. He was uh, an excellent godfather. He poured into me. He covered me. He prayed for me. Amen. We had some wonderful times together and some wonderful times talks and so he will be missed amen amen but we thank the lord that he knew the lord and so we know where he is resting in the arms of his savior amen so i solicit your prayers to please continue to pray for me and pray for the miles family amen all right we're in philippians chapter 2 Amen. I'll begin reading at the fifth verse. Glory to God. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made of himself, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, or because of this, God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearers of his word. I would like to use for a thought on tonight as we prepare our hearts and our minds to enter in to 2021. Let this mind be in you. Look at your neighbor and say, let this mind be in you. Glory to God. Father, we thank you on tonight. We thank you for gathering us in this place. We thank you, Father, for just keeping us all throughout this year. And as we prepare to go into 2021, Father, we pray, Father, that you would give us the right mind. We pray, Father, that we would lay aside every weight and every sin that would so easily beset us and would prevent us, Father, from entering into our victory, from entering into our destiny. So, Father, on tonight, I pray that every ear would have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. I command every part of us to pay attention that we might receive whatever it is that you have to say to us on tonight. We pray that the words that are spoken are spoken coming from you. 
I pray that I would decrease that you may increase that you may get the glory in Jesus name we pray amen amen somebody shall let this mind be in you glory to God amen so as I begin to pray and ask the Lord amen what can I say to us or what would you have me to say amen to us as we get ready to cross over into a new year amen and the Lord began to deal with me amen and he began to talk to me amen that we should be preparing ourselves not for now but for what's coming as a woman of God and as a prophet of God, I would love to be able to sit here and to tell you, amen, without a shadow of the doubt that the Lord told me, amen, that coronavirus is going away. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He did not tell me that. Glory to God. So I don't know when or where or how it's going to go away. What I do know is, amen, that even if it does and when it does, amen, because of the time that we're in, amen, we are preparing or we should be preparing ourselves for glory. Hallelujah. So even when this comes to an end, best believe there will be something coming right on its tail. <laughs> oh, glory, I believe, amen, as I look around, amen, that we may have, I don't know, but I believe, brother, that we may have painted the wrong picture, amen, we may have focused on too many of the scriptures, amen, that would have the people believe, amen, that every day is going to be Sunday, amen, we may have been painting a picture, amen, to make the people believe and to focus on the scriptures, amen, that says that my God shall supply all of my need according to his riches and glory, and he will, Amen. But we tend to skip over, amen, the scriptures, amen, that says, uh, if I suffer with him, then I will reign with him. I want you to know when you read, amen, this entire text, amen. Let me slow down, but I'm excited on tonight, amen, because we have associated suffering with pain, amen, glory to God. But my Bible tells me that I am to count it all joy, when I fall into divers temptations amen but because we're in a generation now amen we only want things the way that we want it we think amen that everything amen it's supposed to go our way all the time and I want you to understand that there are promises that God have made over our lives but some of those promises come with some conditions and I believe that in this hour God is raising up an army of people you know we sing the song I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord but I want you to understand that sometimes soldiers have to fight oh glory to God hallelujah I want you to understand that before they get ready to fight there is an intense training that they must go through in order for them to be prepared so that when the enemy comes in, they will be prepared. Glory to God. God is preparing us for what's coming, not for what is now. I don't believe, amen, that it was a coincident, amen, that the coronavirus came in with such a force as it did. I don't believe that it has any power other than the power that our God God permits it. I told my church on last week, you better know, glory to God, that coronavirus has its limits. I want you to understand that if God allowed it, there is purpose in it. And so we come to this place with Paul, the writer of Philippians, is trying to prepare the people. Glory to God. And he's trying to give them an example. Glory to God. 
of how they get from the place, hallelujah, of humility and obedience, glory to God, before he can get to the highly exalted place. He had to go through a season of humbling himself and becoming obedient unto death. The problem with many of us is that we don't want to die. The Bible tells us that he that tries to save his life shall lose it. But he that loses his life for my sake, glory to God, he shall be saved. I'm trying to get us to change our minds. Glory to God that we would have the mind of Christ as we finish out our journey. I want you to know and I know that there are going to be many that will disagree with me but all of those glory to God that died from coronavirus I believe in my heart that it was their appointed time to die because the Bible lets us know that it is appointed once unto man to die which lets me know that we all have an appointment That's why some contract coronavirus and they survive. And that's why others contract it and they leave up out of here. That's why some people get cancer in their body and it's all throughout their body and they survive. And on the other side, you'll have somebody else with the same type of cancer and they will survive. That's why I tell people all the time. We don't die by disease. We don't die by sickness. As a believer, we must believe that we die by appointment. The Bible lets us know, glory to God, that before the worlds began, he told Jeremiah, he said, before the world began, before I formed thee in your mother's belly, I already knew you. In other words, he said, I already knew everything about you before I put you, before I took you out of eternity where there is no time. And I put you in the earth realm where we are governed by time. But I want you to know that God already had it in his plan. Our beginning and our end. And I don't care what you do. I don't care what you say when your time is up. It is up. Oh, read it in Ecclesiastes. He says that God gives us a certain amount of time. The problem is we don't know what time we're leaving out of here. God didn't surprise this didn't surprise God this coronavirus it took us by surprise but it wasn't a surprise to God glory to God and God uses situations he uses circumstances he uses plagues glory to God he uses famines glory to God in the Bible you'll see all throughout history God uses situations and circumstances that his will might be done in the earth realm. That's why the Bible says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are the called according not to my purpose or your purpose. That's the problem. We want it to work together for our purpose. But God said it's not going to work together for your purpose because your purpose only suits you. But God is looking at the whole. So he says, I'm going to work all to my purpose somebody shout God has a purpose and so when we look at Jesus and we study the life of Jesus amen we'll see all throughout the Bible amen that he was committed 
to the process. He was committed to the purpose, not his purpose, but the purpose of the father. I want to know how many of us are praying and asking God, what is my purpose in this season? We know more about what the uh, social media is saying. We know more about what the government is saying. We know so much about what the news is saying, but I want to know what is God saying. Glory to God because God ain't scared of coronavirus. I want you to know that God is not intimidated. He's not sitting on the throne scratching his head trying to figure out how to stop coronavirus. Glory to God. But God is sitting on the throne and saying I'm looking for a people that will lay aside their wants and their desires. I'm waiting for a people that will have the mind of Christ when he said my meat is to do the will of him that sent me. I don't need no natural food. I don't need no natural drink. I came here for a purpose and I'm not leaving until it is finished. That's all I want Bishop. I'm not trying to hold on to this life. Woo, glory to God. I'm not trying to cling on to this life for dear life. Glory to God because he said that if I try to save this life, then I'll lose the life that he has for me. And we become consumed and we become overwhelmed. Amen. Glory to God with this life. The Bible says no man that wore entangle himself with the cares of this life. I want you to understand that there is another life and I'm not just talking about heaven but I'm talking about the life that is in the spirit. God is calling us to be a people uh, that will walk after the spirit uh, and not walk after the flesh. This is why it says, uh, let this mind uh, be in you. Uh, I want you to understand if anybody felt entitled, uh, it should have been Jesus. Uh, if it was anyone who felt empowered uh, and like they were being mistreated for no reason, uh, it was Jesus. Glory to God. Uh, but the Bible says... Uh, he made himself uh, of no reputation. Uh, they were trying to tell him uh, that he was the king of the Jews. Uh, they were trying to give him all of these lofty titles uh, and these lofty positions. Uh, and he said, I came as a servant. Uh, I want you to understand uh, that God is calling us to humble ourselves uh, under the mighty hand of God. And he said, I will do the exalting. The problem, the problem is too many of us are exalting ourselves. Too many of us are looking for platforms. We're looking for gigs. We're looking for, hallelujah, positions. Hallelujah. We're looking for power and authority. Glory to God. But I want you to understand that even Jesus told his disciples, I did not come to be served, but I came to serve. Where are the servants of God? You don't have to call me pastor. You don't have to call me elder. Because at the end of the day, all I want to be is a servant. Because when I go before the throne, he's not going to say, well done, pastor. Well done, bishop. Well done, evangelist. Well We're at the wrong, we're after the wrong things. We got the wrong mindset. I know the world tells you the more money you have, the more successful you are. But my Bible tells me that this book of law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you ought to meditate on it day and night. And the Bible says that you may observe to do all that is written therein. I'm in Joshua 1 and 8. And it says, then shalt thou make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success.
says, I want you to understand that we should not be measuring our success by how much money we got in the bank, by what kind of car we drive, how big our house is. Glory to God. That's the world's prosperity. That's the world's success. Hallelujah. But I want to know, are you observing to do all that is written in the book? I want to know, hallelujah, have you humbled yourself unto death? <laughs> have you humbled yourself unto death? He leaves us an example of humility that we must have in order to get to the highly exalted place. We want to jump over, amen, verses 5, 6, 7, and 8 and jump right to 9, 10, and 11. But I want you to know that he had to go through a process of dying and it wasn't because death had power over him. It wasn't that death could defeat him because uh, he says no man take my life uh, but I lay it down uh, I want to know how many of us uh, are laying our lives down I know we doing church uh, I know that we're doing things for God uh, but God is calling uh, and trying to raise up an army uh, that he can exalt into the high place uh, that we will be able to walk in this earth uh, and walk in the power and the authority uh, that he gave us uh, that we can speak to cancer and tell cancer it's got to go uh, that we can speak to the mixed up hands uh, and say straighten out uh, we can speak to our finances and say overflow uh, in the name of Jesus uh, but God said can I trust you uh, with my authority uh, I want you to read your Bible uh, because even the children of Israel uh, he let them wander around uh, in the wilderness for 40 years uh, and he said I allowed you uh, to wander around these 40 years uh, to know what was in your heart uh, he goes on to say uh, these people uh, they serve me with their lips uh, but their hearts are far from me uh, I'm not just talking to you uh, I'm talking to me uh, glory to God I can't preach uh, to you unless I preach to myself uh, and God began to tell me uh, Kim that there is a level of sacrifice uh, I know you sacrificed before uh, but there is another level of sacrifice uh, because every round goes higher and higher uh, every level uh, brings on a new devil uh, and that's why many of us uh, are living defeated lives uh, can't cast out a devil uh, glory to God uh, we have no power uh, and when the enemy comes uh, we go running scared excuse me but I'm not running from corona no I don't want it so I'm going to use wisdom hallelujah and I'm going to use precautions but I'm not scared of corona because however the Lord chooses to take me out of here I just want to be ready when he comes and that's what God is saying unto us on tonight let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. The mind that says, I know I got power over all the enemy. I know that I got power over the devil. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to humble myself and I'm going to be willing to suffer. I'm going to be willing to die. I'm going to be willing to take up my cross and to deny myself and follow after him I want you to understand that this is not an easy road and even though salvation is free the anointing is gonna cost you something I dare to say that the anointing is gonna cost you everything the anointing that comes from you crushed the anointing that comes from you being talked about the anointing that comes from you being lied on the anointing 
but I'm gonna grab a hold of my emotions before I make shipwreck because when I read the Bible it never says to be led by your emotions but it's said to be led by the Spirit of God and I want you to know that sometimes the Spirit is gonna lead you into the wilderness sometimes the Spirit of God is gonna lead you into some dark places but you don't have to worry and you don't have to fret because God has promised I'll never leave you I'll never forsake you but I'm gonna be with you even until the end of the earth let this mind be in you which was in Christ Jesus I know we want to look at other folk and see how they go through things glory to God but God left us an example like none other hallelujah and he's telling us let this mind be in you which was in Christ Jesus he he was God in the flesh <laughs> He, he was the ruler of everything. He, he was Emmanuel, God with us. And yet the Bible says that he thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But still he didn't come looking for titles and position. He did not come to have a bunch of followers. He did not come, amen, to provoke, to promote his own will. Because even when they called him good, he said, why call me good? There's only one that's good. And this is where the Lord is trying to bring his church that we understand I'm willing to die for this oh my God when you look at the disciples glory to God look at Peter because Peter had it in his mind he told the Lord he said I'm ready to die for you he said Lord I'm ready to go to jail and to the grave for you and Jesus looked at him and said Peter before the cock crow this day you gonna deny me three times you see what I mean we have good intentions glory to God but we don't always have what it takes to keep our word and this is why see Peter was living a fairy tale because he saw the fishes and the loaves he saw the miracles performed hallelujah but he didn't see the process that Jesus was gonna have to go through in order for him to sit in that seat at the right hand am I so who am I talking to on tonight he didn't understand that Jesus was gonna have to die that's when he had a revelation and Jesus said whom do men say that I am and everybody had an opinion about who they thought he was and then he said well who do you say that I am Peter says thou art the Christ the son of the living God Ooh, I got it I got a revelation from the Lord glory to God and it was not even five verses later when Jesus was trying to prepare them what he had to go through glory to God and Peter says no Lord I can't let you go that way I'm gonna protect you I'm gonna save you he meant well but Jesus said I rebuke you Satan get thee behind me why because you're concerned about the things of the flesh and I'm talking about kingdom things this is what I'm trying to tell you we've got to get out of our fleshly minds we've got to get on our knees and seek the father and say Lord give me the mind of Christ say Lord I don't know what's coming and 2021 but as long as you are by my side I can handle it because I got the mind of Christ that even when it comes it may come to kill me 
and it can't kill me but I'm going to humble myself and I'm going to lay down my life God so that you can get the glory and God said he humbled himself unto death glory to God he humbled himself and became obedient and I try to tell people because I don't think that we preach enough about suffering the bible says that all they that shall live godly shall suffer persecution but we don't preach that we want to preach houses we want to preach cars we want to preach land and i want to tell you something this is why so many married people are losing out now i know about six marriages that are on the verge of divorce today and the reason why is because many go into it and they got the wrong mind they go into it they have no idea what they getting themselves into they have no idea that marriage is not just sex but it's a ministry they have no idea that marriage is sacrifice they have no idea that marriage is about so they get in it with the fairy tale that they saw on TV and then they find out that that's not what it's like at all and then they want to split up hallelujah they, 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 they forgot about the vows that said forsaking all others they forgot about the vows that said, till death do us part, right? We make vows, that's why he said, these people serve me with their lips, but their hearts are far away from me. When something gets in your heart, it's hard to get it out. I don't care if it's good or bad. When it gets in my heart, like I know that I know that I know that Jesus is my savior. I know that I know that he is my healer and my deliverer. There is nothing that you can make me doubt him because I know too much about him. God is saying as you move forward, let this mind be in you. I know you got your own thoughts of how you want things to go in 2020. I know y'all done wrote out y'all little resolutions. I know you done made a year plan. You done set up budgets. But did you seek the Father? Did you lay before him and say, Lord, this is what I want. But nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. See, this is why I'm very careful about praying against coronavirus. It's a horrible disease. And while I don't believe, I don't know, but I don't believe that God sent it, I believe that he's using it. And I believe that he allowed it. Nothing happens. Nothing. Hear me, people of God. Nothing happens outside of the sovereign God. The songwriter wrote a song and said, we've got to learn how to accept what God allows. But we pray against it. We fighting against it. We doing all this stuff and God is sitting back saying, is anybody going to ask me? Is anybody going to seek me for direction? Because what I can do 
And what I will do is I can cover you. What he can do is what he did for the children of Israel when fire and brimstone was happening all around them. He sent them into Goshen. He protected them and he preserved them while he was doing what he needed to do so that he could get the glory. Because at the end of all of that, they had to look to the Father. And so God is saying to us, let this mind be in you. The mind that is willing to suffer. The mind that is willing to go without for a short period of time. The mind that is willing to humble itself and become obedient unto your death. Not your, your physical death, but the death of your flesh. Remember, I had surgery in August on my back. If you never had it, don't. The pain was so bad, it was nauseating. And I'm not the type of person to like a lot of narcotics. I don't like that stuff. I don't like the way it makes me feel. So I didn't really take a lot of narcotics, but I did take something for the pain. And there was one point where I forgot to take a dose. <laughs> that pain was so bad. I was just moaning and crying. And my sister, who came from South Carolina to take care of me, she came over. She said, what can I do? What can I do? I said, there's nothing you can do. I just got to go through it. I got to make it to the other side of the pain. Sometimes we're fighting so hard to get out of the very thing that's going to give us a seat. <laughs> that's going to highly exalt us and give us a name that is above every other name. We're fighting against and we're resisting the very thing that's going to give us power and authority. We're fighting against the very thing, amen, that God is trying to use to build character in us. We're fighting against the very things that God is trying to use to get glory out of us. The Bible did say in Romans 8 and 18, glory to God. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not even worthy to be compared. So what? You lost your job. Glory to God. God will give you another one. And until he do, he'll sustain you. I want you to know that I've been on disability since the beginning of the year. And I want you to know that I'm doing better on today on disability. Making 50% of my full salary. Glory to God. But God has made a way. God has provided for me. I did not miss a beat. And I still have folk calling me to borrow from me. Glory to God. And thank God I'm able to give it. Because God is a provider. If you put your trust in him and not in your job, not in your husband, not in your wife, but all of my help, all of my help, it comes from the Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to get to that seat. He says God has also exalted him, highly exalted him, and given him a name above every other name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in the earth let me see what things might we have in the earth well we got coronavirus but it's under the name of Jesus 
sickness. Well, we got cancer, diabetes, and hypertension. We got HIV and AIDS. We got stroke. But it's all under the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And if we learn how to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, he'll exalt us into heavenly places. We'll be seated at the right hand of the Father far above all principalities, far above all sickness and disease. We'll be able to do what the writer of Psalms 91 when he said they shall not come nigh my dwelling. It won't be able to find you because you'll be in the secret place of the Most High abiding under the shadow. He'll be looking for you but he won't be able to find you because you'll be under the shadow of the Almighty. You will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. You'll be able to call on the name and the Bible says because he had known my name he said I shall I will I've got to deliver that at the name of Jesus hallelujah do you understand that when we pass the test after you pass the test in the natural what happens you get promoted Glory to God as it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. God takes us through tests to see what you're going to do now. And I want you to know that right now, as we're preparing to go over into 2021, God is looking for who he can promote. Are you going to wallow in fear? Are you going to wallow in your circumstance? Are you going to buckle under? Or are you going to humble yourself and die to it? I had to humble myself, brother, when they called me on October 23rd and told me that as of November 1st, seven days later, I would no longer have a job and I would no longer have benefits. And mind you, I was still having a physical therapy. I still had my follow-up appointments with the doctor, but they snatched it right out from up under me. And at first I was angry and I wanted to call everybody in the company. But I said, God, that job was never my source. I said, God, I'm going to put it in your hands. I said, you brought me this far not to drop me if you did it before. I said, you got to do it again. And I had to humble myself under the mighty hand of God. And I want you to know that I thought they wasn't going to send me no more money because that's what they said. But I don't believe that they checked with my daddy. Glory to God because I didn't even know. But I went to check my bank account today and the money that they said they wasn't going to give me was in my bank account this morning. I'm trying to tell you God is looking for a people that will have the mind of Christ. I could have went in there. I could have cussed them out. I could have fussed them out and say you're doing me wrong. But I didn't do it. But I cast all my care upon the Lord. And I said if I die, I'm going to die praising him. If I die, I'm going to die giving him glory. If I die, let me die. Because if I die, he can live. See, the problem, Sister Lisa, is we want to fix it. And we can. Sometimes when we fix it, we make matters worse. We say we believe God. Mm, lip service. We say we trust God until the situation comes. 
then we want to jump in front of God and say, oh, I got this. Let this mind. Jesus wasn't trying to save his life. He said, Father, this thing right here, this heavy, if it's possible, now I don't, my, fle my flesh don't want to go through this. So if it's possible, if there's any way that I don't have to do this, let this thing pass from me. Showing his humanity. But then divinity kicks in. And says, nevertheless, not as I will, but let thy will be done. The mind of Christ is saying, not my will, but thy will. See, he said, he said, he being found in the fashion of man, he humbled himself and became obedient. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death. See, we have a problem with humbling ourselves and become obedient to the death of our flesh because we want to live. But when we live in our own strength, that's why we're so tired. That's why we're so worn out, because we're doing so much in our own strength. Because just when God was getting ready to make a way, we stepped in the way. Ooh. Just when he was getting ready to handle si the situation, we stepped in the handle and said, you was talking about me, you went and told so-and-so this about me, instead of stepping back. Say, let God deal with you. We handled it. So God steps back and says, go ahead. And we create a bigger mess. And then we want God to come and clean it up. Why not just step back? Humble yourself. Become obedient unto death. Because... The Bible says, read your Bible, it's a lot of good stuff in there. The Bible says that the spirit is at enmity with the flesh. And the flesh is at enmity against the spirit. Why? So that you cannot do the things that you want to do. That's Galatians. It's warring. The flesh don't want you to die. The flesh wants you to walk around with a bad attitude. The flesh wants you to walk around angry at your brother and sister so you can't pray effectively for them. He wants you to be angry with your children so that you can't intercede on their behalf. That's flesh. Your spirit says, I don't care if you want to be saved. You're going to be saved. Because I'm a pray, and I know and I believe that the Bible says that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That's what we say we believe. But when that kid start acting up and cussing and fussing and telling you off and being disrespectful, I'm going to kill you. I brought you into this world and I'm going to take you out. <laughs> but when we have... The mind of Christ. Saints, we are going into a year of unknown. We don't know what's on the other side of 2020. We can pray and hope for the best. I do. What I do know is that God will protect us. He will preserve us. He always has. Nothing new. God protects his own. 
That's why the Bible says, I will not fear what man can do unto me. We've got to put our hope and our trust in him. Let this mind be in you. I was praying a few weeks ago concerning a lot of the stuff that's going on. The Lord took me into Daniel chapter 6 where it's talking about and we're getting ready to go. Took me to Daniel chapter 6 where it's talking about Daniel who, was, who had an excellent spirit, the Bible says. So much so that they promoted him while he was in bondage. That's powerful. So they promote him and he finds favor with the king. And because he finds favor with the king, the people that were around got jealous. And the Bible says that they conspired against him. And what they were doing, they conspired against him, but they said, we can't find anything against him. Because he's a good guy, we can't find anything against them Christians. The only way we can get to them is if we use their belief system. He said the only charge that we're going to be able to find against Daniel is something having to do with his God. So they conspired, went behind his back and said, King, why don't you make a decree that if anybody serves any other God or if anybody worships any other king other than you, that they get thrown into the lion's den? So the king, unaware of what's going on, Okay, we're going to make this decree. But what blessed my heart is Daniel's response. The Bible says that when Daniel heard that they had made the decree, the Bible says that he went back to his room where the window was open for all to see. And the Bible said he began to pray three times a day. This, catch this, as he did before. In other words, in the face of death, in the face of a lion's den, in the face of persecution, Daniel continued to do what he always did on bothered by their threats. What am I trying to say? As believers, uh, we got to continue to do what we've always done. What you gonna do now that Corona is here? I'm gonna praise him. What you gonna do now uh, that you're facing unemployment? I'm gonna give him glory. Uh, what you gonna do now uh, that your back is up against the wall? Uh, I'm gonna lift him up uh, and put him down. Uh, what you gonna do now uh, that Situation got real bad in one. 
but the next verse the Bible says and suddenly I want you to understand that God can speak one word and things may be going wrong it may look like you're going down for the last count but God said I ain't gonna put no more on you than what you can bear how many times have you said I can't take no more and you found yourself getting up out of bed taking one step in front of the other how many times have you thrown in the towel and God threw the towel back at you I'm trying to tell you let this mind be in you which was in Christ Jesus don't worry about the trial don't worry about the trouble God can and he will sustain you he can and he will deliver you let this mind let this mind be in you which was in Christ Jesus facing death he was determined to finish his course we get scared when we get in situations that look like death smells like death feels like death it's a tactic of the enemy because he has a way of making things appear worse than what they really are. So he'll magnify it and put so much fear in us that it stagnates us and it keeps us from walking by faith. It keeps us from pleasing God because the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please him. Let this mind be determined like Esther was. Understanding that she was called into the kingdom for such a time as this. You have been called into the kingdom for such a time as this. God got us. As long as we walk in his will. They thought they was doing something. They thought they had Jesus when they put him up on that cross. But what they didn't understand was that he had to go that way so that he could earn his seat at the right hand of the Father. None of us are exempt from the suffering of Christ. So you got to fix your mind. I was listening to the song by Reverend Milton Brunson today. It came on my mind's made up. No turning back. Yes, I'm happy because I'm on the right track. Your mind got to be made up. That even in the face of danger, in the face of eviction, in the face of having your car repossessed, I will have no fear because God is with me. And he, he makes the difference. He's the game changer. He is. His presence. God being with me is what gives me confidence and courage. Ain't that what he told Joshua? He said, only be of good courage. He said, because as I was with Moses, I'm going to be with you. He makes the difference.
On tonight, as we cross over, I pray that we will ask the Father to help us to let the mind of Christ be in us. He was single-minded. He was here for purpose. And he refused to let anything or anyone, not even himself, hinder him from completing his assignment. And that's what the Lord is saying to us as we go over into 2020. Whatever you face, whatever you see, God said, I'm with you. So you don't have to worry. Father, we thank you on today for these are your people. We thank you for loving us enough, Father, to prepare us that we will fix our minds. Your word tells us to set our affections on things above and not on things of the earth. Father, elevate our minds that we might be kingdom-minded people, that we will not be moved by the things that are happening around us, but we will remain kingdom-minded and we'll know and be confident in the fact that we may be in this world, but we are not of this world. And that we are your ambassadors here to represent you. I pray against the spirit of fear that is gripping the hearts and the minds of your people. Your word tells us that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I pray for us all to have a sound mind that we don't become fearful and anxious and move out of our emotions, but we'll be led by your spirit. Let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus, willing to die for your name's sake. Father, we ask that you would bless this house. Bless the leaders of this house. We pray, Father, that you would send the balm in Gilead in this house. That it may rest upon the leaders and may it be like oil flowing from Aaron's beard. May it touch all those that are infirmed in their bodies. We pray, Father, that you would sustain this house and provide for this house. Whatever is lacking, Father, we pray that you would make up the difference. Father, as you prepare them for promotion, we pray, Father, that you would help them to settle their minds, that their minds will be ready for whatever comes. And Father, we take comfort in knowing that you are with us. And we give you praise on tonight. All we ask, Father, is that you go with us into 2021. For if you be for us, hey, glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. If God be for you, who or what can be against you? Father, we thank you and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put your hands together and give the Lord praise for that awesome word. Give the Lord praise for releasing a word to take us from 2020. 
and push us into 2021. There's something that the preacher was saying, and she talked about having that confidence that no matter what the enemy tries, I'm appointed. And so because I'm appointed, I, as long as I have breath in my body, I can push forward. That's a reason for us to give God praise. Come on, let's give God praise one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands one more time. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, there's a praise in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Listen, it's appropriate for you to grab somebody that's next to you. Grab them by the hand. If you're in the same house, it's okay. I know we social distancing in public, but if you're at home, grab somebody next to you on the couch. Look them in the face and say, Happy New Year. Come on. Look at, grab somebody else and say, Happy New Year. I want to wish you a merry, happy new year, but not just a happy new year. I want to proclaim God's best for your life this year. I know we sing that song every watch night service into the new year. We say happy new year, happy new year. But we're going we're gonna to decree, we're going to declare, you're going to have a prosperous new year. Come on, look at somebody and say prosperous new year, healthy new year, blessed new year, favored new year in the name of Jesus. Come on and put your hands together and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, as we move into this new year, we decree and declare that you are sovereign God. You are ruler. You are the reigner of our life and circumstance. As was said, you are the unmoved mover. Move troubles out the way. Move trepidations and fear and anxiety. God, we choose to have the mind of Christ that this is going to be our best year. So God, we decree and we declare healing in this year. We decree favor in this year. We decree open doors in this year. We decree that God, your glory shall accomplish all that your will has already predetermined for our life and devil. When you thought we would quit in 2020, we are in 2021 saying we are here to win in the name of Jesus. Come on and give the Lord your best 2021 praise. Hallelujah. Dine the glory. Amen and amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a great God. 2021 is here. Hallelujah. 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 Through many dangers, toils, and snares, he brought us through. And I just want to wish everyone a happy, prosperous new year. May God of heaven bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Happy new year, everybody. God bless you. Happy new year.
watching, be blessed in 2021.